It's already Sunday, that means tomorrow is my birthday stream starting at 3 p.m. EST twitch.tv slash laser1785 for our announcer winners of the 25,000 Robux giveaway. Make sure you be there, I will see you guys there, 3 p.m. EST Monday, let's get to the video. What's up guys, Lazy, and today we are gonna review the Ultimate Sacrifice update which will come out in March. Barasa yesterday gave us some sweet details about the upcoming update. I think it's gonna be awesome. Uh, Barasa posted this on the forum. I personally don't really like the forum because there's so much hate on it. So if you don't need a forum, just don't go on the forum. You don't wanna get involved with all those people on the forum so here we go we're gonna read this just curious to where everyone stands about the ultimate sacrifice update yeah that's right you can vote off here um you can vote i'm going to play minor chief the same amount regardless of this update yeah that's probably not true for me i'm under life 1000 and going to start playing again more slash more because of the slip streams item um i will explain later what those items are I'm under life 1000 and I'm going to start playing again more because of the new shop items. Yeah, that's right, new shop items. It's kind of weird reason to start playing again because new shop items. I think Slipstream's items are way um, more a reason to start playing again, but okay, that's my opinion. Excuse me, I'm over life 1k and going to start playing again more because of the ultimate sacrifice yeah that is right i stopped well i don't i didn't really stop playing minor safe and i still collect my daily gift but i don't really make setups anymore etc because it's just too boring now i already did everything like everything i already did everything miners haven um i'm live 1k and above i i got like tons of overlord fights true overlord fights i did tons of challenges i did, i got everything i'm done I don't have the Northern Light, I just don't want to waste time for it because you have to do the same setup over and over and over again, so not worth it. Um, so yeah, I thought it was for this one. And the last is, I'm not going to come back to Mars even because of this update. Um, oh dear, did I did I really vote on that one? No, don't tell me I voted on that one. Don't. Oh my gosh, you're, you're kidding. Oh my gosh, we voted on accent on the wrong one. That is so stupid. Okay. Whatever, but I was planning to vote on this one. I'm over life 1k. And as you guys can see, a lot of people are gonna go back, come back. That's really cool. But I have no clue. If you aren't going coming back, why on earth are you reading this? But anyways, we're gonna get back. Um, we're gonna go to the slipstream item. Basically, a ton of new ut utility shop items are coming to Miner's Eve. And yeah, really cool, whatever it is. Along with two new futures. The first one is the slipstream item. And basically what it is, when you reborn with more than DD, you can get the, um, I mean, you get the overall fights. Those slipstream items are kind of the same. But then when you reborn, doesn't matter what uh, cash amount you have, you can get a special item, but it will only last for one life so for example i reborn i get the massive diamond mine and you can get there's a small chance you will get another special really 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 good item that's really good with reborn item and it will only last for one life so if you re reborn again you will lose it but it's gonna be really good so it will help you reborn this uh the life after you got it so really good idea i really love this idea and the other idea to help you reach out, yeah, help you reach next life faster, but it's only it only lasts one life. Okay, only life, one life. That's okay. We can live with that because it's just a bonus. Starting life, one K players will be able to sacrifice all of their progress in Miner's Eve and to start over at first life with nothing but a basic iron mine, basic grenades, and the most powerful upgrader in Miner's Eve and history. The most powerful upgrade, folks. I'm pretty. I'm getting pretty excited now. If used right, so whoa, 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 whoa. The most powerful upgrade in Minus Heaven history, if used right. Okay, so it's probably gonna be a complicated item. First, I said it was gonna be a second Tesla resetter, so you could use, um, yeah, the normal Tesla resetter and the other Tesla resetter, but it's gonna be something different. Because it says if used right, um, it still could be a second Tesla resetter, but I think it's gonna be something like uh, depending on your life, 
how how you, how higher your life is, how better it will work. For example, your life 300, and it will multiply the ore by 300 times. But you also gotta upgrade the ore at least 300 times by other upgrades. I'm not sure; those are just speculations. But we will see about the item. Okay, I will definitely do this. All of the exotics and collectible items you had, including no longer obtainable vintage, will be locked away for safekeeping and given back to you when you reach life 100. But I'm getting some questions now. It only says all exotics and collectible items you had, including no longer available vintages. But what about the vintages you still can get? Will they be locked away or will they just be gone? I just want to keep my vintage really badly, like my old faithful, because I use it. No, I'm sorry, not my old faithful. Thing of magic, because I use it. Yeah, because I use it to farm research points and also my boomat, it's just a cool item to have. I want to keep them so badly and it doesn't say you will keep your other vintages that are still obtainable. And also uh, my ancient conveyors, I really want to keep them. We also need to see about that, those items, if you will keep them. I mean, exotics, collectible items, there are so many other items that you can't get anymore, but that are not uh, exotic or collectible items so that we we will see i hope Russ is gonna give us some more details about that because i wanna be so i really want that information what items i will get uh keep and what items will be gone yeah your reborn items will be gone for sure and your shop items but what other items will be gone out of your inventory and will be locked away for safekeeping and given back to you when you reach life 100 that is a fair deal, I mean, else it would be too easy if you had all your exotics collectible items. You could reborn so easy on life 1, let's be honest, that would be just too easy. So you will get them back on life 100, good idea, great idea, Baressa, I give you that. After you sacrifice, you will also be able to obtain new reborn fusion item for rebirthing, from rebirthing, which are really powerful fusion of the existing reborn items. Yeah guys, this this is really interesting for like now you got the reborn uh, i'm sorry you got the overlord device and you got the true overlord device the true overlord device is just a better version of the overlord device so i think there will be a true first justice a true massive diamond mine a true nature's grip a true northern light a true whatever all Reborn items are true version of it that will be way better than the normal version But you can only get those items after you sacrifice that is really interesting because now it's really extremely double worth it to do the ultimate sacrifice first you will get the special special really the most powerful upgrade in minus even and secondly you will be able to get special reborn items that are way better than the normal one that is really cool that's really cool Okay, player significant. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Higher than life 1k will get an extra head start. Yeah, so basically, if you're um, higher than life 1000, you will get a boost. So you do the ultimate sacrifice and you will get a boost. If you're, for example, life 2000, you will start with 25 QN. I, I think 25 QN because it starts over with enough to reborn to second life right away. That is 25 QN. Maybe Brass will double the reborn price if you do it the ultimate sacrifice, but I'm not sure about that. But that's just enough money to get your second life. If you're life 5k and above, you will get a overlord of fight. And if you're life 10k and above for the no life people or minus even, you will get the true overlord of fight after you did the ultimate sacrifice. Great, great idea, Bressa. I give you that. I hope it will come out really, really soon. Because March, it's it's. The, I hope it's gonna be like the second of March. Because March, it's really far away. And if it's going to be at the end of March, I don't want to wait that long. Miner's even is dying. Let's be honest. Look, Miner's Eve is really dying. Like, there are only like 300 people online now at that game. Well, Lumber Tycoon. There are 20,000 people playing Lumber Tycoon at the moment. That's crazy. I really like Lumber Tycoon. But Miner's even is better if it gets some nice updates. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Leave a comment what you think about the ultimate sacrifice and i will see you tomorrow monday on my birthday stream i will announce the winners of the 25,000 robot giveaway make triple sure you be there twitch.tv slash lace1785 i will also put a link down below also join my discord for some more information 3 p.m est i will start that is 8 p.m for uk people 9 p.m for the dutch people over here and yeah again make sure you hit the like button 
See ya.